Hi, Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com, down in Clawson, Michigan today at Dozer Studio, checking out a really, really one-of-a-kind, unique custom-built motorcycle. I've got Dozer, the author and artist with me, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. This particular bike has a 124 cubic inch SNS full polished engine. It's a Primo Rivera 3 inch open belt drive. And that goes into a, a billet aluminum right side drive Baker 6 speed transmission. The front end is from. Uh, the exhaust is all handmade for this particular build. Yeah, it's nice how the radius of the to exhaust follow kinda... the radius of the frame. Yeah, exactly. It is all custom hand fabricated, freehand fabricated. And the gas tank is actually the gas tank, the rear fender, and the tail light mount all in one. How much gas does it hold? It'll hold just about three gallons of gas. Very cool. And it's a right side drive, so we have a chrome chain and a rear sproter sprocket with a four piston brake caliper. And those are performance machine torque wheels and Avon tires. It's a 250 40 18 rear and a 120 70 front. Uh -huh. 21. It doesn't look like there's any miles on the bike yet. The bike has yet to be started. There's no there's no oil, there's no gas. It was deliberately built for a museum show. The battery that's in it is actually a gel cell battery, but it's a dead battery, so there's no power in the bike. I see. There's not even a place to mount a license plate on it yet, so obviously you're not intending on putting it on the street. No, I don't intend on riding it. I have a front brake set up for the bike if someone were to eventually want to ride the bike, but for the show I didn't like the look, so I left the front brakes off of the bike. It's a handmade headlight. It's a very cool. The handlebars are also freehand fabricated here in the shop in a fully free for or freehand fabricated frame with the oil tank in the main backbone of the bike I see yes this is uh, the throttle cable is actually running into the frame and down the tube goes underneath the motor and then goes into a copper line on the opposite side of the motor and is fed up to the carburetor. It looks like the coil and some other components are hidden back. Yes, all the electronics for the bike are actually hidden behind the primary and underneath the bike. It has an electronic fuel pump, circuit breakers, ignition switch, headlight switch, but everything is hidden in behind the primary. It's a pretty wild looking seat. Looks yeah, more, it's, it's more a, like a saddle. It's it was definitely built with the uh, an old cavalry type saddle in mind. Uh, this particular bike is it was my version of a what a modern day heavy draft war horse would look like if it were a motorcycle. Nice. Tell us a little bit about the paint. I see there's <clears throat> definitely a lot of color now, fade going on. Yes, there the paint is a blend. My painter, uh, when we were doing this, I told him I wanted this to look like a chestnut brown horse standing in noonday sun. So it has some very orangish brown hues on the top and as you go down and where the shadows and the sun wouldn't get to, it becomes very dark, dark brown and almost black. It's awesome. It's kind of hard to appreciate in the, unless you're probably out in full sunlight, in, huh? In full sun, it's, it's very beautiful. Well, it's beautiful in this so condition all here. Of the, all of the lines for the bike are all done in copper and everything is hooked up. It is ready to, to run. It's just, uh, it has no oil, no fluids, like I said, uh, because it's been in the museums and in galleries. And what's your intention for this bike? 
The intention is to uh, eventually sell it to someone who basically would like to use it as an art piece, but if they choose to want to ride the bike, I can put the license plate mount on, the front brake on, and make it truly street legal. Gotcha. Well, it's a beautiful bike, Dozer. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing the uh, build of the bike with us. Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, autoappraise.com down in Clawson, Michigan today on February 18th, 2013. Checking out a very, very cool, custom built, one of a kind bike by a very renowned builder. Dozer, they call him Dozer. Thanks for watching.